So here's a little review of these 5 watt LEDs that I got on eBay. Uh, I have them in three different locations. This happens to be my trailer and it's a it's not a small trailer. This is about 16 feet long and uh, what I do is I use this on certain mornings and it's dark and I have disconnected the uh, the switch from the vehicle and I'm currently running it off of a battery uh, I've seen some people use their lights inside and drain down their batteries and how I maintain this battery is just that little solar panel right there but uh, this review is about the LEDs and uh, this is one of the three locations that I have it and I have to say I do like the LEDs. Um, let me show you one of the biggest flaws I've got. I've, I've dug these wires out so you can see them. The wires are so small that in order to splice them, uh, I don't even bother using a knife. I just grab them with my fingernails and pull the insulation off. And uh, trying to put these things underneath wire nuts is a problem, but it's not impossible. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So the other place that I have these LEDs is in my food truck. And I have 16 of them. And uh, when the inspector came and saw these and noticed that they're LEDs, he wasn't worried about the glass. And if you have, uh, like, say for instance, fluorescent lights, uh, you have to cover the bulbs with some type of plastic, either encircling them or having a, an entire cover. That way if the glass breaks, it doesn't come down into any of your food prep areas or food. So here's one of the spots. I ran 16 uh, gauge wire, which is plenty adequate for this. And I have, if you wanna see, you see the, the pulsating? That's me just touching these wires. It's not easy, but it can be done to put these little bitty wires underneath a, uh, a wire nut. If I had to do it again, or if it gives me any, any trouble, I haven't had any issues yet, except for you know when I'm touching it, I'd probably go ahead and solder these up, and that would be uh, the best thing you could do with something like this. And uh, it's working, it's working great, uh, as long as you don't touch it or disturb it, and I don't have any issues while driving it, um, everything's working great. And these lights are used constantly. So the whip on them isn't very long. This is about the maximum. I suppose you could always add a little bit of wire to them. And uh, extend them out. Probably should put some more screws on it. I've been trying to uh, solder this and tuck them up and underneath that channel there. Oh, you notice that? It's not the same lights. Why? Because this thing gets warm and cold, warm and cold. It doesn't get really warm, but when you put things in here uh, that are warm like corn or watermelons, the heat off of that warms up the walls and then the AC cools it back down and it caused those other lights. I had one, two, three, four, five in here, really lit it up, especially at night. Uh, caused them to short out, but I haven't had any trouble in the other, in the other places. Um, those other LEDs were designated as wire, waterproof, and I do like them. They are trimmable, but they're just not bright like these. And, uh, they never did disclose, you know, they disclosed the entire roll, but they didn't disclose the uh, the sections of LEDs, you know, they, they designate where you can cut, but um, these have been in here for several years, and we use them fairly regularly, uh, despite that, and you know, this is not a, a cooled unit, it does get cold, it gets cold with the winter, it gets uh, hot with the summer, 
and uh, that little bit of transference of of hot to cold doesn't provide enough condensation to cause these any trouble. Now it doesn't get down. I mean, it does get down to 33, but it, there's not a rapid swing like there is in the refrigerated unit. So let's talk about price. So for eight dollars and ninety cents, you can get six of these, and that boils down to less than a dollar fifty cents each. And shipping it's free uh, so I find this to be a great value again I really wish there would have been thicker insulation thicker wires and a little bit of waterproofing but I suppose I could do that part myself for this price if you've used this product before let me know down in the comments section your results with it also I have found a 6.5 gallon bucket of rations I don't know how old it is but I do know I'm going to uh, empty the contents of it and see what we got. Also, perhaps not use them right now because pretty soon we're going to be in hurricane season again. And I live here in central Florida and uh, might want to have some of that around. So we're going to take a look at that and see some value on other products. We're going to visit Dollar Tree, Harbor Freight, Walmart, Amazon. Find the best value for the best price. And uh, thanks for watching like and if you haven't already subscribe see ya And thanks.